Hi there, this is James from ABSA Asset Management bringing you your March MPC update. And today's MPC was very much in line with expectations. No change in the repo rate, keeping it at 3.5%. The main change, of course, was the voting, you'll recall, in January. It was split 3-2, with two members calling for an interest rate cut still, citing fears around further uh, viral waves. This time it was a unanimous 5-0 call to keep rates unchanged. So that's an interesting change. And if we look at some of the commentary, talking about second wave coming and going, and that waves will continue, perhaps the NPC getting a little bit more comfortable with that. Also, this coincided with vaccines being rolled out. And although there is some risk flagged on the success of our vaccine rollout and uh, globally, however, it has been boosting confidence in economic growth. So those were some comments made. Some interesting changes made to the forecasts by the MPC. Their headline CPI for 2021 moved up to 4.3 from previously at 4% for the year and some some quite large adjustments in the in the short term there but they're moderating the 2022 and 2023 cpi forecast down a little bit growth they marked up for 2021 to 3.8 percent from 3.6 but kept growth in 2022 and 2023 the same as they were in january so not too many adjustments here they've flagged the risks to both growth and inflation as balanced so there's quite a bit there that would suggest that for now rates will remain where they are for the foreseeable future until the risks to that change so the guidance they always talk about the quarterly projection model and that had said in january that there would be 50 basis points worth of hikes this year and then a further 100 next year it moderated slightly but roughly stays the same so just a, a few basis points change on that so still forecasting 150 basis points worth of cuts by the end of 2022 interesting there and um, that was pretty much it for the MPC I think um, they flagged some risks from energy provision from ESCOM and as I say, the vaccine rollout. But overall, this was pretty much in line with expectations. Now, how has the market reacted? Bonds have sold off after that. And the currency has also weakened. The RAND sitting above 15 as we speak into the, the close here on Thursday. And I'm not sure if that's specifically linked to the MPC or whether that is just a general risk off theme that has happened this week globally. So that remains to be seen. But I think overall, yeah, a good decision by the MPC. And also, probably this was a little more dovish than the market had expected. The market had expected um, a little bit more concern as we've seen the interest rate uh, discounting, at least in the market. Um, for higher rates uh, at a point as high as 2% worth of hikes was being discounted in the market. And so perhaps the market expecting a little bit more concern um, coming out of the central bank and that didn't show up. So I think a cool, um, calm and decisive uh, reserve bank today. And I think that'll prove to be just what the market actually needs um, to, to keep confidence. And so, yeah, here we are with repo at 3.5%. And, and um, it looks like that will be where we are for, for at least the next meeting and unless things change. Thank you for tuning in and we'll chat again at the next NPC. Goodbye.